everyone, my name's Kobe. I'm from Australia, as you can probably tell by my accent. Uh, and I'm here to talk to you about my experience with the geyser. So, quick backstory, I met Jono at a troop carrier winter ramble. So as you can see, I own a troopie. And I love it, it's awesome. It's my home away from home. It makes my adventures possible. And yeah, it's just the best thing ever. You should all buy one, seriously. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah. Made friends with Jono, ended up offering some artistic services to help with the artwork and the design for the outside of the geysers, uh, which some of you have probably seen. So um, that was really awesome to help out with. And he gave me one to test run because I was going on a trip up to Central Australia, uh, which was just amazing of him to do that. So I got to test one of the earlier, uh, earlier models or the earlier prototypes. So yeah, it was a three week trip. The destination was Alice Springs. We checked out the Flinders Ranges, the Gammon Ranges, Arcarula, um, Cooper Pedy, you know, um, Uluru, the Olgas, Rainbow Valley. It was, it was a pretty, pretty good trip. It was awesome. So yeah, so really remote places. Anyone who's been to those areas knows how dry and remote and yeah, there's just nobody out there usually. It's it's very, very desolate. And um, to be able to have a shower and set up camp and not have to pay any money because we're free camping, um, it was really, really awesome to have the guys there and have a shower there. You could extend your stay. You could enjoy, enjoy your stay a little bit longer. You were feeling a lot fresher than you would otherwise feel with baby wipes or, you know, the like. So... Yeah, I found it a really awesome bit of gear. Um, one of the main pros that I didn't actually think about before I went on this trip, or that I didn't think with the geyser, um, was the fact that I didn't have to use public showers at caravan parks anymore. And that was a huge freedom. So uh, in Australia, you, it gets very, very busy in the winter months up north. So you have a lot of people passing through. You have a lot of people using the public showers in caravan parks. And you have a lot of people that have absolutely no respect for public facilities. So, um, you know, you go into a into the caravan park shower and even though they're cleaned more than most, you still got hair everywhere. Hair everywhere sorry. You've got the horrible, horrible possibility of getting tinea which nobody wants ever it is horrid so there's that you know you've got to wear your flip-flops into into the shower it's just it's not very cool at all so um yeah the comparison with the last trip that i did up north because i rode my motorbike around australia and we did up central north um and we stayed at caravan parks and and did that kind of travel and that kind of thing up there and it was awesome but this trip this trip in comparison having the hygienic facility of your own shower i actually would prefer the guys are hands down every time showering regardless of whether i was staying at a caravan park or free camping i would be i would have my guys are out in the caravan park and having a shower with that so um that high being being able to have a hygienic shower was was really awesome and really freeing it was lovely so that was one major pro that i didn't think of um the other as well for myself is that you know m my dream is to eventually travel around australia with my car and live and work around australia so i'll be living out of this car and the main barrier to that is um is being able to have a hot shower so um, as you can see, I've got pretty long hair, so it goes for a while. And as most girls would know, um, it's about two to three days before it starts getting pretty oily and manky and I start feeling not very, not very clean. So, and you can't really wash your hair with baby wipes. So yeah, um, I found that having the geyser there really, really freshened my hair up. I could have a wash and it would be really awesome. So you know, I've got a, I've got a corporate kind of job here in Victoria, in Australia. So if I was to transfer into state and work and travel, um, I would need to be able to look presentable for work, and the geyser would make that possible for me to do. Uh, and that's why, that's why I think it's awesome. It's compact. It's light. You know, you, all you need is a car, and you can have a hot shower anywhere, um, which is a really awesome thing. 
And the fact as well that it's really conservative of water, you know, I could still wash and have still hot water left to wash my hair and it's like one and a half, two litres and I was, I was good to go, which I've never, ever been able to do that or think that I would be able to do that. So, um, yeah, I found that really cool, um, doing our bit for the environment, not wasting water as much as, as much as everybody else does. So yeah, feels good. Um, yeah, it was just, it's just an awesome bit of gear. You know, you could go hiking, do a big trek or something for three, four days, leave your car in the car park, which if you're doing a decent trek, it's not going to be anywhere near civilization. So there's going to be no hot showers waiting at the car park for you to get back to. So, um, to be able to take the geyser and then leave it in your car, you go do your hike for the couple of days, come back from your hike, um, have a hot shower and then head home. I, that's, that's what dreams are made of <laughs> guys. That's a very, very awesome. Um, this product has the capability of just completely changing how people can travel and making people enjoy camping and, you know, allowing people to be hygienic on their adventures. So really, really cool. I hope you guys get one because it will be one of the best bits of gear that you buy. Um, and yeah, I just highly recommend it from the experience I've had with it. So yeah, I'll leave you at that. Um, best of luck with anything. If you've got any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, Jono will be there to answer all your questions. So yeah, peace out guys. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Bye.